Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick shootout between the PB6505 Plus against my EVH Stealth 100 Watt. So to start things off, I'm going to compare the crunch channel on the 6505 Plus against the blue channel on the EVH Stealth 100. The overdrive pedal right now is off. I'm just going to show you what the amps sound like raw with no overdrive pedal. So pay attention to this part of the screen right here. When I'm on the EVH Stealth, this is what you'll see. When I'm on the 6505 Plus, this is what you'll see. So in other words, there won't be anything down there. So again, EVH Stealth, 6505 Plus. All right, so with that, let's get started with Crunch Channel on the uh, 6505 Plus against the Blue Channel on the Stealth. No overdrive pedal to start things off. Alright, so here's what I noticed. The blue channel on the EVH Stealth is definitely more modern sounding. It's tighter and it's more aggressive. The crunch channel on the 6505 Plus is more of a classic rock type sound. It uh, is kind of unresponsive. There's a lot of sag there and it's not really tight at all. It's kind of flubby and it's really lacking aggression, especially when you compare it to the blue channel on the Stealth. So I'm going to kick in the mud killer pedal and see if that equalizes things a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that now. <laughs> they're still just as separate from each other as far as what I would go for in a rhythm tone. I feel like the Mud Killer definitely helped the 6505 Plus Crunch Channel, but not enough to put it into the same territory as the Blue Channel on the Stealth. The Blue Channel on the Stealth just got even meaner and nastier, uh, which is what I'm looking for anyways because I'm a metal player, and there's still a huge difference between them. I'm still hearing classic rock over here with the 6505 uh, Crunch Channel. Uh, as opposed to modern metal with uh, the Stealth Blue Channel. All right, so now let's go ahead and switch the 6505 Plus over to the uh, Red Channel mode, which is Channel 2, and see how that compares to the Blue Channel on the Stealth 100. And we're going to start again with the overdrive pedal off. Here we go. Well, that's definitely a lot closer, but I'm still hearing a difference in uh, eras, you know, between the two amplifiers. I'm hearing a more modern sound out of the Stealth as opposed to even still, there's more gain over here. I'm still hearing a little bit more of a classic uh, sound out of the PV. I mean, Channel 2 on the PV sounds way better than Channel 1, but I'm still hearing 
um, especially when you compare it to a modern metal amplifier, you're hearing the difference in eras. You know, it's a little bit spongier and not as aggressive. So let's go ahead and kick the pedal on now and see if that will equalize them in this particular part of the shootout. Okay, the pedal definitely had a better effect on this particular part of the shootout. It brought the 6505 Plus more closer to the blue channel on the Stealth. Still not all the way there as far as feel and aggression goes and a more modern sound, but it definitely nudged it up a couple rungs on the ladder, if that makes sense. But the thing is, is when you're comparing two amplifiers on a switcher and you're switching directly back and forth between them, you really do hear more differences than you would if you were to unhook everything and hook everything back up, because your ears forget. I'm going directly back and forth between these amplifiers, and I'm hearing quite a bit of difference uh, between them right now. Let's hear how they both perform in a mix. So I'm on the red channel on the 6505 Plus, boosted, along with the blue channel on the Stealth, and that's boosted as well. Let's do a quick mix and see how they sound and feel while I'm doing that. Okay, so in that mix, I enjoyed playing both amplifiers. I mean, they both sounded and felt great. Um, I would have to give, as far as the brutality aspect of it goes and the texture aspect, I'd have to give that to the Stealth because it definitely does have a more modern voicing and it's a little drier. And because it's drier, it has more grit and aggression and texture. So if you want an amplifier that has those types of characteristics in it, you definitely want to go for the Stealth because it definitely has those and it has a more modern voicing in it. Where with the 6505 Plus, it still sounded really good, like I said, but there's definitely a different feel. It has more give and sag in it. It's not as stiff and responsive as the Stealth is. And you really notice that when you compare them side by side directly. But all that said, I thought it performed very well. And if you own one of these 6505 Plus amps, I mean, be proud that you own it. It's a great sounding amp. But that said, it definitely does not have as much texture and aggression as the Stealth does. And again, I'm comparing the red channel on the 6505 Plus to the blue channel on the Stealth 100. 
So now let's make it really interesting and compare the red channel on the 6505 Plus to the red channel on the EVH Stealth 100. We're going to start with the overdrive pedal off. <laughs> huge difference between those two i mean again no overdrive and the evh stealth red channel absolutely just spanked the hell out of the red channel on the 6505 plus as well it should it's a more modern amplifier and it has a lot more gain and it's a lot tighter and way more aggressive and it costs a lot more too so i mean that's kind of the way it is right so let's do something fun here i'm going to have the overdrive pedal on with the red channel on the 6505 plus and I'm going to turn the overdrive pedal off uh, for the stealth 100 watt red channel and now I'm going to do a mix with both amps set up that way and see how they compare in a full mix. Alright, so main differences between the two amplifiers in that particular mix is the Stealth Red Channel, even though it did not have an overdrive pedal in front of it, still had more aggression and texture on it than the 6505 Plus did with an overdrive pedal. And again, we're comparing Red Channel to Red Channel. And I felt that the Stealth was just as responsive without the overdrive as the 6505 plus was with the overdrive that's a testament to how awesome that red channel is on the stealth it's freaking amazing so basically here's my final thoughts between these two amplifiers if i was to have the 6505 plus i would never use channel one for a crunch channel it just doesn't have what i'm looking for if it gets me there it barely gets me there and it does it begrudgingly you know what i mean it's it's like it just doesn't really work for me 
But with a blue channel on the Stealth, I would use that all day long for a rhythm channel, especially if I hit it with an overdrive pedal. It sounds amazing, and it's very responsible, full. It's got a really good modern sound to it, and it feels great to play, and it's just freaking awesome. So basically, if I was to buy the 6505 Plus, I would just use the red channel on it for the most part, and it does work really well, and it sounds awesome. And this comparison is really revealing at how far these amps have advanced and changed over the years. I mean, the Stealth is a perfect example of how far things have gone over the years. I mean, there's so many advancements with uh, texture, gain, response, voicing, all that stuff. The Stealth really has it. Uh, in spades, especially when you compare it side by side with uh, an older amp like the 6505 Plus. And again, 6505 Plus sounds great, but when you're comparing them side by side, you definitely notice a lot of differences. So I feel like the blue channel on the Stealth 100 is a more aggressive, more modern voiced version of the red channel on the 6505 Plus. It has more gain, more texture, it's a little drier, and the voicing just sounds uh, gnarlier, and it's just got that really nice snarl and that grit in it that we look for in modern metal tones. And the red channel on the Stealth has surpassed anything that the 6505 Plus could do so much that it just can't catch up to it. I don't care how hard you hit it with an overdrive pedal, it just will not be as aggressive or have as much texture as the red channel on the Stealth. So if I have to give it to one of these amplifiers in this shootout, as far as what I'm looking for in an amp, I want an amp that has all three channels that are usable, because hey, I'm paying for all three of those channels. So I want all three of them to work for me. And I'm looking for something super brutal, has great tone, has a modern uh, voicing to it, and a lot of great response, takes a pedal very well, and supports my type of playing. I definitely have to give it to the Stealth in this uh, particular shootout big time. Now, I'm not saying that the 6505 doesn't sound good. It sounds amazing. I had it on a live stream just last night, and I enjoyed playing it big time. It sounded awesome. But again, when you compare them side by side, that's when you really notice the differences between amplifiers. So price-wise, there's a pretty good gap between these. I mean, you're looking at $1299 on the 6505 Plus, and you're looking at $2349 on the EVH Stealth 100. So let's talk about the price and what you get for it. So a lot of people I talk to about the 6505 Plus, they buy these for one channel. They get it for the red channel. The other channels, they don't really use it very much. I mean, they might use the channel one for a clean or something like that, but even the clean on it's just so-so. And the crunch, again, if you're a metal player like me, it's just not going to work for you. So basically you're paying $12.99 for one channel. Or you can spend $23.49 for three very usable channels. I mean, the clean channel on the Stealth is amazing. It's not an afterthought channel at all. They did a great job on it. The crunch channel, which is the blue channel, is freaking perfect for rhythms. And, you know, you could play leads on it, too. I mean, I did it in this video. I played some lead stuff on it, and it sounded great. Hit it with an overdrive, and it sounds amazing. And the red channel, it's just bar none one of the best high gain channels on the market i don't care how much money you spend that channel is one of the most unbeatable channels out there it's freaking amazing so you're going to spend more but you're going to get more so it just depends on what your budget is if you only got 12.99 and you need to amp right now go ahead and get the 6505 plus you're going to love it it's a great amplifier but if you got the extra funds and you don't mind parting with them I highly recommend that you get the Stealth 100. It really is a very versatile amplifier and it's an amazing fire breathing beast and I don't really know of any amplifier out there that can match the brutality that comes out of that thing. It's just amazing. So to sum it up, either one of these amplifiers would be a great choice for you. It just depends on your budget and what your tastes are. But in my opinion, for my money, I think it's better spent on the Stealth because again, I have three channels that are exactly what they should be and they're 100% usable for me. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And click the bell so that you can be notified every time I either go live or come out with a new episode. Well, I got a lot of great stuff coming up, and I'll see you on the next one.